Okay, we're going to look at section A2 today, where they are going to give us again an equation of x and y. And we are going to use that equation and then figure out how to graph the line. All of these that have both an x and y, and they have just a single power. These are what are called linear equations. Linear as in line. It makes a line. So if we were to graph it, nice. Um, real quick, let's go back. We've got four parts here. We have quadrants, four quad. First one that we normally always deal with where everything is positive is up here. We've got we're always going to choose Roman numerals. Why? I don't know. Okay, then we're going to go counterclockwise two, three, and four. We don't use that a whole lot every now and then. We'll say the point is in the third quadrant, and that's where we're going to start. All right, so if they just give us a regular equation, we're going to give you the basic way to graph it today in case you forget every other method. Um, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make that T chart we did yesterday. Okay. Again, I would choose, you can choose three points, you can choose X, you could choose Y, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to go with our X's today. So if we start with zero in here, that would give us zero, so we get negative three Y equals six, divided by negative three Y would equal negative two. So put in one, two times one, Two, three, y. Oops, not divide. Subtract two. Negative three y equals four. Divide by negative three. Y equals negative four thirds or negative one one third. And then if we put in two. Four minus three y equals six minus four. Divide by negative three again, y equals negative two thirds. So we have three pairs, three points, zero, two, or excuse, excuse me, zero, negative two, one, negative one and one third, two, negative two thirds. So if we were to come over and plot those points, So we have over zero down two, zero negative two, over one down one and one third. So we're kind of gonna eyeball that over two, negative two thirds. So we've got our three points. Graph paper is gonna make that easier to do. I'll give you graph paper. But our three points are on the line. They're not all on the same line. Either you graphed it wrong or your math over here was incorrect. Okay, so we're gonna make a T-chart to fill on our three points. So I can said over the next course next week or so, we're going to give you a simpler way to do that, which makes it nice and handy. And the last two we're going to look at I'm going to give you two other types of equation. They're going to give us an equation where, so we have two separate equations. So we're going to draw two separate lines. But what do you notice about this equation right here? Does it have two letters or just one? One. This one, how many letters do we have? One. So that's the difference. What this tells us then, let's look at these graphs. Let's go over here. This says x is negative two. Which way is x? Is it up and down or side to side? It's the side to side. So here x is zero, here x is negative one, here x is negative two. So we're gonna go straight up and down at x equals negative two. So if it's x equals something, our line is a vertical line. As you think about it, if we put a point here, it's negative two, one, negative one, negative two, ten, negative two, eleven, something like that. So same thing here, if we go to y, 
is 3. Y is 1, Y is 2, Y is 3. We're going to go across. So if it's Y equals something, it's going to be a horizontal line. It's opposite of the axis. That's the, part, that's the part I always forget. So I think about graph points. If you can't remember, graph a few points here. So graph three and three, and then think about, okay, that's three, zero. Well, X is three there, not Y. But here it's zero, three, so Y is three. If you need to graph that point or two before you graph, before you graph the line, that'll make it easier. If this is something you want to try and remember, if it's X equals a number, it's a vertical line. If it's Y equals, it is a horizontal line. All right, so what are you going to do for me today? All right, on page 357, 25 to 43 odd. 357, 25 to 43 odd. It, I would recommend using graph paper. So make your T chart first. Let's begin. Choose your. You can choose any three points, but it's usually zero and one are going to give you the simplest math. And then graph your point, three points 